Hello friends, this video on p-block elements particles is brought to you by examfa.com. No more fear from exam. Let's talk about some chemical property trends. We'll talk about the reaction with air, hydrides, reaction with water, halides. Let's start with the reaction with air now. See the first property is all the members when heat is oxygen from oxides, monoxides and dioxide. For example, carbon in a heat with limited oxygen, less oxygen. It form carbon monoxide. You heat carbon with ample oxygen, it form carbon dioxide. So it form oxide, monoxides and dioxides actually. Oxides in the higher oxidation state are generally more acidic. So this one if you see it has plus 2 and this is plus 4. This guy is more acidic. The dioxides, if you see, are more acidic. Acidic, if you see, these are more acidic, and these guys are amphotenic. So, if you see, these guys are acidic dioxides, and these guys are amphotenic. Why? Because seriously, these guys are metals and non-metals and metalloids, so they have acidic uh, oxide and dioxide. And these guys are metal, so they have amphotenic or basic oxides. Right? That's the reason. Because these are metals and metalloids, non-metals and metalloids, so they have acidic oxides. These guys are metal, lead and tin. So they have amphotric or basic oxides. So if you see SNO2 and PbO2, they are amphotric in nature. So if thus, if you see, if you go down the group, the basic nature increase. Basic nature of oxides. Basic nature of oxides play. And this is similar to the trend we have seen in the boron family. Correct. And if you see among monoxides, if you see CO is neutral, GeO is acidic, and these are amphotenic. So if you see the carbon monoxide is the only exception here, it is neutral. Why? Why it is neutral? It has to be acidic, right? Going by the trend. But this is neutral because the triple bond is there, right? It's a very, very strong bond in carbon and oxygen. And that's why it is basic. It's very difficult to break this bond. The bond energy is pretty high. That is 870 kilo joule per mole and because this such a high bond energy carbon monoxide is the only exception here other oxides monoxide also if you see are has to be basic so because going down the group the basic nature increased right so if you see this guy is acidic correct these guys are basic amphotric is correct so going down the basic nature increase but the exception is carbon monoxide is a, it can be asked in question exams also why carbon monoxide is neutral while other monoxides are basic this is because the carbon monoxide bond is very strong and uh, it's almost 870 kJ per mole. It's very difficult to break this bond. We will talk about the resonance structure of carbon monoxide also. So if we draw the resonance structure of carbon monoxide, you have carbon, 1, 2, 3, 4, oxygen you have 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is one structure. The other structure can be the carbon, you get 5 here because oxygen is giving one electron to carbon oxygen gets a positive charge carbon gets a negative charge the other structure can be uh, they can share this two electrons right so this is carbon gets a positive charge and this is because the resonance if you see the resonance actually is three different structure for carbon monoxide and with resonance also it gets extra stability and it becomes let's talk about the hydrides now So this carbon family elements, they combine with hydrogen to form covalent hydrides. Please note, they always form covalent hydrides. For example, alkanes, alkynes, alkenes, silicanes, I mean, these are the examples of the hydrides you have, right? You have the CH4 is one hydride. These hydrides, uh, if you see, the thermal stability of these hydrides decreases as we go down the group. And the tendency to form these hydrides also decreases as we go down the group because carbon forms more hydrides, maybe lead forms lead hydrides. Right, if you see right, all the hydrides of carbons are pretty stable, methane and all, but the lead hydrides are pretty unstable. So you can say that if you go down the stability of hydrides decrease. And since the stability decrease, it's very rare to form hydride uh, as you go down the group. Let's talk about the reaction with water. Carbon, silicon, germanium, they are not impacted with water. But the team, 
carbon silicon and germanium is done but talk about the tin tin will re react with hot water that is steam to form dioxide and gives dihydrogen gas so the tin reacts with hot water to give dioxide and dihydrogen gas and with lead also it forms a protective layer with similar to aluminium the lead when it reacted with water it forms immediately forms a protective oxide and which helps uh, lead which uh, helps lead in saving itself it won't react with water then. let's talk about the reaction with halogens so most of the elements in the carbon family family they form halides the formula mx2 or mx4 because oxidation state is plus 4 and plus 2 right so they form generally mx2 and mx4 directly when react with the halogens but carbon is something which doesn't react directly it forms halogen but halide but but doesn't form halide directly and most of these uh, halides are covalent in nature and these uh, central atom in this halide uh, the carbon family atoms they generally go sp3 hybridization except these values because they are ionic but since they are mx4 right so they generally go for sp3 hybridization and the stable stability of this halides increases as we go down the group stability of dihalides i am talking about why because as we go down the plus 2 oxidation state is more prominent right so the stability of dihalides increase for example if you see pb uh, maybe uh, lead chloride is more stable than lead uh, uh, pbcl4 right because dihalide stability increases as we go down the group because the plus 2 oxidation state is more stable as we go down the because of inert pair effect for example in this right pbx2 is more stable than pbx4 does lead stay but if you talk about germanium then gex4 is more stable than gex2 the ge plus 4 is more stable and for lead plus 2 is more stable that's why we see in the lead pbx4 is more stable than pb pbx2 is more stable than pbx4 but in case of germanium uh, plus 4 is more stable than plus 2 let's talk about the hydrolysis of halogens so except ccl4 other tetrachlorides we have pbcl4 or something they easily hydrolyze with water because the central atom can accommodate lone pair of electrons from oxygen but since the carbon is small in size it cannot accommodate right but other than for example sicl4 right this can accommodate the lone pair from hydrogen water and it can you see this uh, will replace the chlorine molecules with OH and if you replace one by one all you get this acid correct so CCL4 is not able to hydrolyze because the carbon size is small and it will not be able to handle this uh, OH molecules the bigger in size right so as I told right same funda which we had for BCL3 and BS3 same thing here we have CCL4 carbon can handle chlorine four chlorines around it but it cannot handle four uh, OH molecules around it correct so except CCL4 other tetrachlorides experience hydrolysis with water where all these chlorine molecules are replaced with OH molecules right hope you understand this thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again